Between 2011 and 2012, 284 people drowned in Australia. We at Royal Life Saving would like you to know more about how they drowned, where they drowned, and what can be done to prevent further drowning deaths. Let's look at some different age groups. 21 children between the ages of 0 and 4 drowned. Most were boys, and most fell into the water. Children this age need active and constant supervision, and they need restricted access to water. If we skip over to 15 to 24 year olds, we find a group who are greatly overrepresented in drowning statistics, and the numbers keep growing. 45 people drowned, most were males, and nearly half drowned in inland waterways. Swimming and water safety skills are skills for life, so it's essential that all children are taught these fundamental life-saving lessons. Adulthood is a time of great independence and a time when financial flexibility often means you can be involved in many different activities. But it also means that drowning is an ever-present danger. 38 people drowned in this age group while involved in a diverse range of activities. Please avoid alcohol if you're planning on being in, on or around the water and make every effort to be fit and healthy. By far the highest number of drowning deaths occurred among those over 55. 97 people drowned in that age group. Three quarters of them were men, more than twice as many people drowned in inland waterways than at beaches, and many drowned after falling into water. Some simple measures will reduce this tragic figure. Have a medical checkup before engaging in any aquatic activity. Never venture into the water alone and enrol in a grey medallion course. But there are other things you should know. Four times as many men drown than women. More people drown in rivers and lakes than at beaches. And half of all the women who drown are over 55. Drowning happens quickly and quietly. So take care when you are in, on or around the water.